Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the different types of stylus and how to choose which one is going to be best for you. Now, I'm not going through which styluses are the best. I've done that in a lot of other videos, and I'll be doing a, a more comprehensive one soon with some updated styluses. We're going to be talking about whether to purchase a one-button stylus, something like the Slim Pen 2, which has rumble, it's magnetic, and it charges underneath the or in the keyboard uh, depending on which computer you're using laptop studio or pro 8 or pro x or if you should choose a two button stylus that has invert barrel or eraser and right click and does not use bluetooth at all you can just start using it right away or a bluetooth stylus like the r520 bt model which has two buttons on the side and bluetooth so the first question that a lot of people have is, do I need Bluetooth? What does that do? You don't need Bluetooth to use the side buttons and to draw on your computer. So if you are an artist or a note taker, the chances that you're going to use Bluetooth on a regular basis are relatively small if you're using your stylus when it's close to the screen. Now, these styluses all require you to be about this far away from the screen to use the side buttons. Uh, and if you want to do something kind of like a selfie uh, remote, but for your computer, then this Bluetooth button is going to be useful. You can do it across the room to advance slides, start and stop music, or start and stop a video. And there's three buttons that are attached to this. In the pen tool from Tablet Pro, you can set the Bluetooth button to do a number of different things, including keyboard shortcuts. It's not ideal for undo. It's not ideal for... Uh, switching to the color picker or to switch to uh, an eraser using the Bluetooth button is slow. Uh, not that it's not useful, but it's, it's slow. If you're using the artist pad over here, there are a lot better ways to do that. If you're using a keyboard at the same time, there are better ways to do that. This is not um, something I would recommend using the Bluetooth button for. Now, there's not a lot of downsides if you're going to get a two-button stylus to get one that also has Bluetooth, but there are a couple. The first one is that the charging does not happen like this is USB-C. This is going to last a long time because it's only turning on the tip right down here. And it's only on when you turn or press this off. It turns on and off in about 10 minutes uh, with inactivity. This one, when it's connected to Bluetooth, the battery life is shorter. And it's shorter by um, quite a bit, less than half the, the battery life. Now, that's still typically a couple weeks, um, but you're going to have to charge this more frequently. And if it's this specific one, you're going to need to use this charging hat. Now, I just keep mine by my nightstand, and so I don't lose this. This is not a big deal for me. Um, but for some people, that's going to be a big deal. Bluetooth, again, it's like a selfie remote for your PC, for your Windows device. And there are three functions. There's single click, double click, and hold. So that's like a single, double, and hold. So it's, it's not like a single button selfie remote, but it is a single button uh, on the device. You can just do three different things with it. So when would you need this? If you're doing presentations, if you um, connect your computer to a stereo system, and are wanting to play music from a distance, and this is useful. But there's a lot of different ways to get things done without this button right here. Uh, for instance, the Artist Pad from Tablet Pro is a really good way to have all of these same functions. You can have them just on a panel on the side of the screen, and you can do media controls. You can do a lot of the different things that way. If you're using your computer with your hands, then the Bluetooth button is really not a necessity. Now, how about getting one that doesn't have Bluetooth at all, that has these two buttons? I will strongly recommend don't ever waste your time buying a single button non-Bluetooth stylus. It's, there's just no point to it. Now, the eraser on some of these, you can turn around and you can erase. There are some options there to do that. I think that's a nice feature if you are handing your stylus to uh, someone who's unfamiliar with computer styluses because then they they can write and then turn it around and erase and they're used to that process i think that's a nice feature 
uh, if you are a real estate agent or you're you're getting people to sign documents on your computer and traveling around that could be worth it uh, otherwise the turning the stylus around to erase is not faster than pressing the invert button that's this front button the invert button is a faster way to do that for those of you who adapt quickly than a stylus that has the invert button in front and the barrel button back here which is what works is right click in a lot of programs using the two side buttons is typically a better way to solve most of these problems versus flipping the stylus around and erasing the other big question that i think is important is is storage so for some people you're like okay well should i get something that attaches to the side of my computer well fairly easy thing to test carry a pencil around just a regular number two pencil or a pen put it in your pocket put it in your your laptop bag or whatever and see if that bothers you. If not, you have a couple other options. Now, most styluses today, most good ones, and the ones I recommend, you can attach to the side of like a Surface Pro or a Surface Book. The newer devices, Laptop Studio, which is what I'm currently using, or Surface Pro 8, they don't have the same storage abilities as previous ones, so you can't just attach it to the side of the device. You have to attach it underneath the front of the keyboard or inside the keyboard and the new keyboard uh, with the docking station. Now, the nice thing is for specific styluses like the Slim Pen 2 or the Slim Pen 1, it will charge it, which is nice, but charging the stylus um, every month or so is really not a big problem as far as I'm concerned. I don't consider that to be a big problem. Uh, having it always charged is nice, but not something I would decide on. So the other part is what styluses will fit in that little dock. Well, magnetically, there are no styluses that attach correctly, um, and you should read that as, as securely, to those different spots on a Surface Pro 8 or Laptop Studio. The Slim Pen 2 magnetic points are different than on a standard Surface Pen. The magnet points are in different locations than on the Slim Pen 2. That in mind, you can still put things, uh, regular magnetic styluses will still attach to the bottom of a laptop studio. It'll still attach to the bottom, not the sides of a Surface Pro 8, but it's not very secure. You'd really be better off putting it in your pocket or putting it in your, in your laptop bag somewhere dedicated. So now the Slim Pen 2 has something different as uh, haptics. So there's a little rumble engine here in the stylus. I really like it. I really like it. Um, I kind of wish I didn't really like it because it makes going to another stylus that doesn't have it um, problematic. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm missing that, that just extra feeling of the stylus on the screen that comes from the haptics. It, it does give a little bit more tactile feedback to drawing. It increases with pressure. It's lighter with light pressure. It's cool. It's cool. If you don't have it, you're not going to miss it. And this thing is uh, 130 plus, so it's it's not cheap. So is it a um, cheap gimmick? I, I don't think so. It doesn't feel like a cheap gimmick to me. It feels like a really nice uh, addition. And, and I really hope that other styluses will start including this. But, oh my goodness, it's going to increase the price on a lot of the other third-party styluses if they can even do it. The Slim Pen 2 is awesome. Uh, it's not uncomfortable to hold. It's very comfortable to hold. While it is shorter in length to a standard stylus, it's not short enough that it makes a difference in my hand. So it's still a well-balanced stylus, but is it really worth $130 plus dollars? So these ones, the price uh, for most aftermarket third-party ones, they're between 30 and 50. And I think that price is, is way better. If you're going to take a risk, here's my thought is if you don't know what the haptic feeling feels like, you're still going to really like other styluses that have the clean line. Again, my recommendation for the stylus is I have these on my website so you can check them out and watch my other videos that go through line quality test. Because for artists, that's one of the biggest things that you need to consider. Two button stylus, always unless you're getting the Slim Pen 2. It's my recommendation. Two button stylus always, unless you're getting the Slim Pen 2. And then you need to do a couple different things to really take advantage of it. If you have the Slim Pen 2, 
use the artist pad because it'll augment the lack of having that extra button on the side. One of the big reasons to have two buttons on the side versus one has always been ZBrush. And uh, ZBrush just recently updated their tablet API to allow for simultaneous pen and touch, which is so great. That means that that invert button here at the front, which would do sub and add, you don't need to use that anymore. You can use a button on the artist pad and you'll be just fine. So quick rundown. If you're using Bluetooth, your battery is gonna go faster on the stylus. If your stylus does not charge underneath or inside of the keyboard, you're gonna to need to charge every couple weeks uh, for relatively heavy pen use, uh, depending on the stylus and you might have to have a special hat for it. Uh, this one charges with a USB-C on the side, uh, which I like a lot. And the two button styluses you want for most things, if you are using a keyboard, the side button doesn't matter as much. If you're using the tablet in just tablet mode, then having a stylus that has uh, two buttons can make a big difference on what you can do and how quickly you can do it. Hopefully that helped. There wasn't a huge amount of concrete answers, but that should help you kind of navigate those questions for yourself. Um, again, if, you, if you're not sure what to do, start with the cheap one. And if you don't like it, um, then you haven't wasted a lot of money. You still have a backup stylus. And you, um, if you do like it, then great. You started out with the cheapest solution and you found out something that, that works for you and you're happy and, and you didn't spend as much money. All right, uh, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.